Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here with the Airstream Bridge DMX or Airstream DMX or whatever you want to call it video manuals. Now, just a couple of things. First of all, the Airstream DMX Bridge is the actual hardware. The Airstream DMX is the software. So you'll hear me calling it back and forth, multiple names or whatnot. But I want to go ahead and talk about programming our first fixtures. Now, one of the nice things about this program is that you can program multiple fixtures into one scene. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to program the QA5. Now, just so you know, I went ahead and patched my QA5s as follows. I used the ADJ profile that's built in. Uh, I just renamed the button and I chose different button image. We have red, green, blue, amber, dimmer, strobe, slash, speed, mode, and programs. Now, this is a little bit simpler in terms of programming, whereas with a program like my DMX, you could click and see the individual values of this fader. This one doesn't do that. It's very simple. You just choose your color. So we're going to go ahead and turn our dimmer. Let's turn on our blue LEDs. There they are right there. And we're just going to match the DMX value. Now, if I know the DMX value, then I can choose what I want. But if you don't, just look at the manual so you know what's what. Now in this case, I know that this is strobe pretty much zero, uh, 1 to 255, so we're going to leave it at 0. Now I can sit here and just save that as a scene, but maybe I want to choose a custom color. Oops. So I'm going to just go here to my top right of my color effects, and now I can grab this. If I decide, you know what, I don't want to do an RGB color, I actually want to just choose amber, I can go back and I can bring these down or I can just clear this fixture. Now, let's look at the clear menu for a second. We have clear this fixture, clear selected fixtures, or clear all fixtures. And if you have a scene with multiple fixtures, you can clear everything. So pretty much bring your entire scene back down to zero value for everything. And of course, the other two are to either clear the selected fixtures or everything within this actual fixture patch, such as the Wi-Fi QA5. So again, we're going to bring the dimmer back up. And there's those built-in programs, too, that we can do. And then, of course, we can select the speed, the strobe. So there are all sorts of cool things. Again, you got to know the DMX values for that. But that's our first option there. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this. We're just going to make a blue one. And then we're going to add a little bit of amber, kind of warm it up a bit. And you know, that's, I still would like it to be a little bit wider. So... What I'm going to do is, ah, there we go. My iPad's kind of failing on me. There we go. Now I got a nice color that I like. Now I'm going to go into my scenes because this is the wedding colors, right, or the event colors, right? So I'm going to go to my scenes, and I'm going to click on a sign on the upper right. Now here are all 72 buttons of your scenes. So there's page 1. There's another uh, 25 through 48 and 49 through 72. So we're just going to go back over here to page 1. We're going to click Assign, and I'm going to click little I, oops, not the I icon, sorry, just right here, the general part. And we're going to name this QA5 Static Purple. Now, the button color. I can click button colors to change different color, or I can just hold it and move my finger around and find a color that kind of matches what I want. So in this case, there we go right there. And our button label is going to be called Purple Static. That just lets me know it's a solid purple. And the last part is the fade time. Now the fade time is going to allow me to basically tell it how long I want it to, you know, to go between fading from scene to scene. And there's a few extra options for that. So we're going to save that for a video later on. But once I'm done with that, i got to click Save. Now, it may tell you that a file with this name already exists. If you're overwriting the scene or anything like that, just go ahead and overwrite it. The scene has been saved. And there it is right there. My first easily made scene using the Airstream Bridge DMX, and I'm using the ADJ Wi-Fi QA5. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share with everybody that you know. And of course, if you go on Facebook and you search Airstream Bridge Discussion Group, you're going to see our awesome uh, group online where you can ask questions or anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good night. God bless.